Namaka and Pele, sisters of water and fire. Once upon a time, there were two sisters. Namaka, the goddess of the sea, whose spirit lived within the water and the sacred creatures of the sea. And Pele, the volcano goddess, who gave birth to new rock formations and land with her hot lava and flaming spirit. Namaka was married to the great warrior and sorcerer Okele Nui A Ipu. He was known to be capable of flying through the heavens, swimming through the great seas and running swiftly over earth. She was so impressed with her husband's warrior spirit that Namaka even taught him some of her magic. However, after a time of being with Namaka, he saw Pele, fiery Pele, fell in love with her and decided to seduce her, secretly taking her to be his wife. Upon realizing the deceit, Namaka went into a state of fury that even the great sorcerer could not quell. Namaka brought high tides and floods from the seas to destroy Pele's lands, breaking down Pele's home and driving her out to the ocean. Namaka's jealousy towards her sister caused massive riptides, swells, and even tsunamis. Stashed away on a boat, Pele quickly fled to distant islands, bringing with her the magical power, a spade that enabled Pele to split the earth. Wherever she landed, Pele struck the ground, opening a crater in which volcanic fires would pour out in order to create a place of sanctuary. However, with these volcanic flames, of course, came smoke. This caught the attention of Namaka, who was examining the seas for her treacherous sister. Namaka continued to chase her sister Pele across many islands, pushing her further and further from her homeland until they were stuck very far out in the ocean. Eventually, Pele used the spade to create multiple mountains for protection and climbed to the top of the highest one. In the safety of her new volcanic peak, Pele became more confident and started to fight back. Pele constantly pushed her fiery displays of explosive lava and energy towards the water, while Namaka sent the ocean swells and tsunamis up the shores of the land, but she couldn't get too far. To this day, the sisters' tensions still flow as lava, thick and hot, pushes it until it reaches the cooling, squelching waters of the sea symbolizing the match and strength between the sisters of fire and water. With their power, lava would cool and new land masses were formed, eventually creating the chain of Hawaiian Islands. <laughs>